Hey guys, come and check out how I made homemade Italian lasagna out of eggless, egg-free meatloaf from leftovers. Oh yeah, leftover meatloaf? Yeah, this is what I made. I made a homemade Italian lasagna and I'm going to show you step by step on how to do this. Oh yeah, step by step. Step by step. And don't forget to check out the WOW app. My link is below. All right, you guys, I'm gonna start with my bell pepper and I'm gonna be dicing that bell pepper and that onion. Again, we are making a lasagna and we're using the eggless, egg-free meatloaf leftover. So once we get done cutting up the bell pepper and the onion, we're gonna put it in the microwave for five minutes. And now we're ready for our spaghetti sauce. Hold on, let me get my little handy dandy thing to open this up. All right, so we go ahead and build up our sauce. So we have two pound and eight ounce jars. This one is a, is a meat spaghetti sauce. And this one is mushroom spaghetti sauce. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little water to here so I can get all this good old juice out of here. All the good old spaghetti sauce out of there. So we're gonna put some in this jar. Shakey shake, and then we'll put some in this jar, and we'll shakey shake. Make sure we get all that goodness out of the bottle. That's how you do it. Shakey shake, shakey shake. There we go. So that way, you don't have to add any. It's water, you can make sure you get all your, your sauce out of here. All right, we're done with those jars. And now we're gonna do our minced garlic. So we'll put about two tablespoons of garlic in here. It's about one, two, all right. Now let me get the sweet basil. Let's get some basil in here. And of course, we're having meatloaf spaghetti. It's eggless meatloaf that was left over. So we've just been doing this week just some leftover meatloaf. So we got our sauce here. We're gonna add some Parmesan cheese also in this. So about a tablespoon or two. pepper and onions that y'all saw me cut up earlier. I put them in the microwave for five minutes. We're going to add that. Okay. And give that a stir. And we have about probably about two pounds of meatloaf that we're gonna be adding to this sauce. In addition to the Esta cheese and mozzarella cheese. 
So I'm also gonna be adding about a tablespoon of these caraway seeds and they're good for, uh, if someone has acid reflux, they're good for indigestion, helps on your stomach. So about two tablespoons of that. Give that a mix. This is all going in the sauce. Now here's my meatloaf over here. And what I'm gonna do with my meatloaf, I'm just gonna cut my meatloaf up and put it in the pot with my sauce. So yeah, you got leftover meatloaf. And this is eggless leftover meatloaf. So you don't have to worry about having eggs in here. If you used to just using your regular scrambled uh, ground beef. And this meatloaf also has all that goodness in here. That's gonna be going into that spaghetti sauce. So yeah, this is a lot of meatloaf, you guys. So this is gonna be a, a very meaty spaghetti sauce. And once you get it in here with the sauce, you can always break it up more. Yeah, so a lot of different things you guys can do with your meat sauce. Just wanna break it up some more, yeah. But again, it's a very meaty sauce, as y'all see that. Now let's go ahead and put some of our cheese in here. First. We'll put in our mozzarella. Mm -hmm. There we go. About two cups of mozzarella. Okay. And two cups of DPS cheese. Quick little, quick recipe on how we're gonna do our, our sauce. Go ahead and give a, a mix of sauce. And we're just gonna let this stay on simmer. simmer for about 20 25 minutes on low to medium heat let's get all this off of there okay so we got our two eggs crack them up 
recipe in a bowl. Okay. And then we're gonna take our original ricotta. And we're gonna use the entire container. This is a 15 ounce container of ricotta. And then we have our Parmesan grated cheese. So we're gonna add about a quarter cup of that in here. Okay. There we go. And now we're gonna give it a stir. Make sure you get all those eggs mixed up good. Very good. All mixed up. Look at that. Okay. Alright, let's get our noodles. Let's get that lasagna noodles. All right, you guys, so we got the lasagna noodles all finished, and we're gonna go ahead and start setting up our dish. Now, what I do is I like to add a little of my pasta water to the bottom, just like so. So like a, about a quarter cup of pasta water, put it in the bottom. Now, these noodles are hot, so I'm gonna try and use my little tongs here. And they are El Dante. El Dante, so you want to make sure you want them not completely cooked, just El Dente. I said El Dante, but El Dente, you guys. El Dente. Okay, so we should be able to put about four of these strips, at least three to four strips at the bottom. Yeah, we got it. There we go. So now we want to put some of our good old sauce on there. And of course our sauce is what's got all that cheesy meatness to it. And we're just gonna put that sauce in here at the bottom. Uh -huh. There we go. Now we want to add our right here which you can know it is the ricotta the parmesan and the eggs so we're just gonna put a little dollops a little dollops for those of you guys that don't like ricotta try uh, cottage cheese that's another substitute all right now I'm gonna put some more additional mozzarella on top of this. Okay. And now we're gonna put our next layer. Okay. And this is homemade Italian lasagna made with leftover meatloaf. How about that? I'm trying to grip my noodles here. They are hot. So I know I'm gonna have plenty. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a fourth row of this on here, like so. Now we're gonna put the cotton on top of this. And kind of like alternate how you assemble it. Okay. And then we're gonna use our sauce on top of that. And this is gonna be a very meaty lasagna. I'm gonna pump some meat in there, y'all. Oh yeah, mm. you guys can smell this goodness. Oh wow. All right, now we're gonna put our layer. of lasagna noodle. And I love a lot of noodles on my lasagna because it's got to it's got to keep up with the meatness in here. There we go. Put that across here. Like so. And we will, let me just pour the rest of this water off since I won't need any more of that. But I don't like my noodles to dry out. That's why I keep them in there. All right, so we have the last layer of the sauce to put on there. And now we're going to add the last layer of the ricotta mixture. And now we're going to add some more mozzarella. Then we'll put the last layer of the lasagna noodle on top. Layer it again with both those cheeses. And then they'll be ready to go into the oven at 350 for an hour to an hour and a half. Check on it after an hour so you'll make sure it has a necessary brownness that you want it to have in the oven. Now you'll see me doing some trim trim. We're trimming the excess of the noodles off so that we make sure that everything is fitting in the casserole dish.
And that'll be the final touches to this lasagna uh, before we put it in the oven at 350 for an hour to an hour and a half. Depending on the brownness you want at the top when you pull it out of that oven. Oh yeah. So we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about an hour. Let all the juices meld in one. And we'll see you guys back in an hour. But for you, it'll only be a second. Oh yeah. Now I actually sat this inside this huge aluminum pan only because this is a loaded lasagna and I know it's going to have some spillover and I want to spill over in the pan. All right, so we're going to put it in there. Here we go. All right, you guys, we just pulled it out of the oven and we're just going to sprinkle it with some, some parsley flakes. Like so. Oh yeah. So here we go. Let's get it out of it. We, and we did not have any spillover. Believe it or not, we did not have any spillover. So now I can take the glass a casserole dish out of this aluminum pan and we'll be ready to eat at the table at Promo SCK, eating good in the neighborhood. Y'all saw it first at Shell of Creations. Like, oh yeah. So here it is, you guys. This is our lasagna, our eggless, our egg-free meatloaf leftovers. And yeah. This is the lasagna. We got a salad and we have some Shella Creations um, garlic toast, which only consists of just garlic minced and butter and toast it up. So don't forget the Wow app. Join me on Wow app, you guys. It's free.